Looking to homebrew your Wii? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to do the more common things with the homebrewed Wii. So, let's not waste any more time, and let's get straight into it. The things that you'll need is a Wii, you know, obviously, an SD card, preferably 2 gigabytes or more, but the Wii supports up to 32 gigabytes, and for USB or GX, a USB drive. I'd recommend anything above 64 gigabytes, so you can store a bunch of games, but here I'll just be using a standard 16 gig drive. First, plug in the SD card into your computer and download the necessary files. First, format the SD card and the USB drive to FAT32. Please make sure you're on System Menu 4.3. If you're not on System Menu 4.3, go to Wii System Update and update it and you should look for your region code. For my case, I'm in the US, so I chose U. If you're in Europe, E, and if you're in Japan, J. It's that simple. Go to the settings, click on internet, go to console information, and type your MAC address into the please.hackme website. And then verify you're not a robot, and then click whatever wire you want, it doesn't matter. Extract the USB Loader GX thing first and put it on the root of your SD card. Then extract the Boot Me thing and put it on your SD card, the root of it. Then for Preloader, you put the Preloader folder inside the Apps folder. Then open the Apps folder in the D2XCIOS installer zip file and then take that D2XCIOS installer folder and then put it in your Apps folder on your SD card. Then, take the two .wad files that you downloaded and put them on the root of the SD card. Now it's time to get straight over to the Wii. Side note, I will be using footage from Michael MJD because I don't have a capture card yet and you guys don't have to look at a screen, so yeah. Go into your Wii message board and find this icon. You may have to scroll back a couple of days or scroll forward a couple of days, but if you have your date set correctly, you should find it. Click A on it and wait for it to load. It may take a while for the one button to show up on this screen, but it will definitely happen. And this is an important side note because if you pay for this, you were scammed. But when the one button does eventually show up, well, what do you want me to do? Press it? Just press it! JUST PRESS IT! When this screen comes up, press continue and then press install the homebrew channel. Then do as it says to return back to the main screen. Then go to boot me and then install boot me as an iOS. If you have a later revision, then install boot me as a boot too, but I don't do this because it will come up every single time you turn on the console and that's annoying for me. And plus, if we install preloader, it doesn't really matter. Then follow the on-screen instructions to get back to the homebrew channel. Now for the next portion of this video, I'll be following a tutorial, or not really following, taking footage from a tutorial from Tech James. I personally don't know and don't watch him, but you know. I mean, it seems credible for preloader. These X's on the screen right now, those I marked out because you shouldn't see these on your homebrew channel. We haven't installed them yet. And they're not really necessary, so yeah. Press the home button on the homebrew channel, and then click launch boot me. You'll have to use the power button to move around the menu. And you'll have to use the reset button to select things. Or, if you have an earlier model Wii, you can use a GameCube controller, which is... I recommend. Move over to the settings icon. And then, click the button with the green arrow and the SD card. This is how you make a backup. Then look at the screen to see what to do. Then, when you're back at the Wii menu, you should see a homebrew channel icon. Click on it, and then once the homebrew channel loads, click on preloader, and then press plus to install. Then, power off the console. And then, turn it back on again, but this time, hold the reset button while you do it. A preloader screen should show up. This is how you can get to boot me if your console gets bricked. 
I also recommend going down to system menu hacks and then turning on the region free everything so you can play, you know, Wii Wear titles from Japan or something and Wii games from Japan or even Europe. That's pretty cool. I would recommend that. Okay, so go back to the Homebrew channel and launch the D2XC iOS installer channel. Well, not channel, but you know what I mean. Then press A and then configure these settings shown on screen. Then press A to install. Then do the same thing, but configure these settings. And then press A, then install, yada, yada, yada. Then launch USB Loader GX. Then look on screen to see how you can enable Wii games. Then insert the disc into the drive. When it's done loading the game, it will ask you to install it. Well, what are you here for? INSTALL IT! And then when it's done, you should see it. And there you have it! You have just successfully homebrewed your Wii. If you like this video, please subscribe and like the video and comment if you have any issues or anything. I might respond to them in like seven years, but you know, leave them anyway. And with that, brew like a pro.